Replicable Solutions for Society, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 128. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 128, September 6, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can receive updates through YouTube. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 50% of the written content for the Social Relationships lesson plan to the website. You can see this here. This lesson plan, like all the theme lesson plans, is purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme. We also wrote the next 30% of the Social Relationships lesson plan behind the scenes, which brings that to 80% complete. In addition to this, we completed and added the final 50% of the mind map for the quantity and quality lesson plan to the web page. You can see that mind map here. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food featured our open source Achacha hub across our social media channels using this new social media image we created. We also researched and added additional recipes to the open source beet hub and to the open source tomato hub. More recipes from our food self-sufficiency transition plan will be added to each of these individual hubs in the future. Last but not least, we added three new delicious recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ? We added these recipes to the food self-sufficiency transition plan and they include sweet potato and apple breakfast bake, open face avocado and shaved fennel sandwiches, and tacos. Verde. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do it yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team continued what we hope will be the final major revision of the Footers Foundation and Flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This included researching and determining compass specifics for steel lengths and diameters, steel gauge, and a couple trips to Home Depot and Lowe's to piece it together and test it with chain link parts. We'd say we're about 12% complete with this final revision behind scenes. We also added annotations and updated the Tropical Atrium open source hub with the amazing 3D interactive presentation you see here from Gilberto from the graphic design intern team. Visit the open source hub for complete details and the option to try out this interactive presentation for yourself. 
addition to this, Sayonara, a member of the architecture and planning intern team, brought the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 floor plans to 95% completion. She also started the development and final 3D model of the Straw Bale Village as you see here. Hakel and Diana, also members of the architecture and planning intern team, added furniture to the common areas of the Earthship Village Pod 6 and started modeling the external area and pre preparing it for rendering. Eric and Victor from the architecture and planning intern team completed new renders of the Earthbag Village Pod 1 and updated renders of the compressed Earthblock Village Pod 4 and the shipping container Village Pod 5. Sarah, another member of the architecture and planning intern team, continued her work on creating a guide for constructing treehouse units for the Treehouse Village Pod 7. And Thais from the architecture and planning intern team continued forwarding Treehouse Village by furnishing the interiors and creating renders of the tree homes. Gabrielle, an industrial design intern, worked on finalizing the latest details of the interior and exterior renders of the Earthbag Village. You can see an example of the exterior view here. And last but not least, here is some of Gilberto's work in progress on Tropical Atrium 3D Interactive. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team working on the city center continued updating the SketchUp 3D for this structure. This week, we finished another 5% of the progress, including pool updates inside Social Dome, Central Area, and outside, updating the walls to the laundry area, and updating the walking paths. We'd say we're about 45% complete with the total 3D update. We also worked with Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, to develop the survey you see here for assessing what people are interested most about and how they feel about control systems and automation systems, data gathering, and related information sharing. Gabrielle, in addition to this, began to create a model of the entire bedroom for the Duplicable City Center, containing the pallet furniture he designed with Flavia from the Architecture and Planning Intern team. Mike converted a 3D model of the kitchen dome from SketchUp to a usable version in Revit, as you can see here. And Jogo from the Hydraulics Intern team updated the fire sprinkler system to include a horizontal sprinkler solution for the kitchen of the City Center. He also forwarded the potable water design of Villages 5 and 6 and began the design for Village 3 and calculated the proper size water reservoir for all three of these villages. Last but not least, Mike Hogan guided Lucas Tetsui, De Silva, and the electrical intern team on the control system for the city center. Lucas created a table that shows how many sensors each room will require for the control systems and created a price estimate table for the sensors. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team began the updating of all our past weekly progress blogs to match the rest of the website that's been updated to be mobile friendly. This week's work included 20 hours of correcting all our past blogs. This was a process of centering videos, updating icons, and fixing menus, and it brings us to 98% complete with the entire website update. Lucas from the graphic design intern team made even more badges for the award system in the Highest Good Network application. You can see some of these here. And Manuela of the graphic design intern team and service design student Carolina created a summary of the Treehouse construction process for the Treehouse Village online presentation booklet. They also moved forward on 3D modeling, rendering the external areas, and recording the experiential videos for this village. Eduardo, another member of the graphic design intern team, continued progress in the promotional video he is helping create for one community, and he also created collages of images of the intern's work to help with the creation of these blogs. The graphic design intern, Manaseas, worked on developing a final Adobe InDesign file for the online presentations he is creating for all seven of the one community villages. And as an example, you can see his work in progress on the shipping container Village 5 here. And last but not least, Igor, Marco, and Mateos from the software development intern team continued coding and adding the badge system to the Highest Good Network application. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a Highest Good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. 
We believe a world that works for everybody is possible if enough people participate. So we're creating replicable solutions for society, a society that's interested in a sustainable planet and a world that works for everybody that are do-it-yourself duplicable, either as complete teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs, or as individual components. The foundations of all of our open source models or the things that we're creating first and that we feel are essential to a sustainable civilization are food, energy, housing, education, high good economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, as well as true earth stewardship and fulfilled living practices. We're putting all these things together as an evolution of sustainability that combines physical sustainability with emotional sustainability to create a way of living that we think most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now. And through doing this, this is how we see the model spreading and affecting enough people and enrolling enough people in the process to create a world that is truly sustainable, that will last for this generation and many, many generations to come, sustain life on this planet as long as is necessary. And so we feel that we need to start somewhere. And the teacher demonstration model is designed to not only create hubs that are sustainable, cities and villages and communities that are sustainable, but also to teach others how to create sustainable cities, communities, villages, and hubs as well. We call this a solution model that helps to create additional solution creating models. And the idea is to bring together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, that believe that this is possible, that want to be a part of it, to create the models so that others can replicate them, adapt them, modify them, and that's why we're doing everything open source. So if this sounds interesting to you, if you'd like to be a part of creating replicable solutions for society as well, we definitely invite you to participate with us and get involved. There's lots of different ways to get involved from the people that will be moving to the property and building one community, which are called pioneers, to consultants working and volunteers working behind the scenes, just helping contributing time and donating the time that's available to them to help move everything forward, contributing their expertise to the development of everything that we're doing, to satellite members, which are the people that participate at the deeper level, the same level that the pioneer team is participating at, working behind the scenes with weekly calls and welcome team calls and collaborative meetings and things like that but not interested in moving to the property. Ultimately, we see it as coming down to participation. And our goal is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate sustainable living as attractive enough, either as the complete teacher demonstration hub or just individual components, making individual components easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough. Everything from the food, the energy, the housing, the education, all those different components so that more and more people will participate. And the way that we see that it is once we reach that global tipping point of participation, then the process will have been accomplished. So people ask, how can I help? Of course, you can participate, as I already said, in the different ways that I listed. You can also share our information on social media networks. We're putting our information out there in as many ways as possible to make it as easy as possible for people to participate in the way that works best for them. So we're not only open sourcing it, but we're sharing it across 15 to 20 different social media networks every single week, which includes, of course, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Sue, Pinterest, Reddit, and about 15 other social LinkedIn, social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to get the information, to share the information, to get the word out so that the people that are interested in being a part of what it is that we're creating can join us, get involved can help to create this faster, to help us complete the blueprints, to help us add additional details and specifics to make them better and better and create this open source foundation that we see as necessary if we're going to create a truly sustainable planet that works for everybody. Replicable solutions for society. This is what we're creating. A society that is truly sustainable and will meet the needs of all people everywhere indefinitely. Of course, we're also seeking large-scale funding. So people ask, well, what is the biggest thing that we can do to help? Well, one community is seeking large-scale funding to help us get the property off the market. We have been working with this property now for almost five years, and it's still on the market, but we don't own it. So we can't disclose the location because the location could change, and we're looking for that single donor, that small group that would either like to donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or invest in one community so we can disclose the location, which we know will help us accelerate the building of our team. It will allow us to get boots on the ground to be able to start doing the site survey and take our open source designs and open source that process of doing a site survey and helping people and selecting their property and those kinds of details. All the other extra specifics that can't be accomplished until we have the property the market. It allows us to run a crowdfunding campaign specifically on that property and about that property to help raise additional funds. This is the next big step for us. 
Everybody that works for one community is a nonprofit volunteer. None of us are paid. So every donation we get, and we love to say thank you for the $5 donations, the $10 donations, $25 donations, the $50 donations, $100 donations, like those donations help pay the fees that are associated with our website, that are associated with our nonprofit organization, like basic marketing things, all that, but none of that goes to salaries or paying any of our members or the executive director or anybody else because all of us are nonprofit unpaid volunteers but we're still looking for that one large scale funder. So if you know somebody, or you know somebody who you think knows somebody, please get them in contact with us. We could be doing what we're doing even faster. And once we have the property off the market, it will accelerate our whole process a hundred times, a thousand times, and ultimately, eventually allow us to host tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people to come and experience what one community is. And if they like what they see, if they wanna participate, if they like to build it themselves and help create this self-replicating model, create the next version that will help create the next version that will help create the next version that will help create the next hundred versions, thousand versions, then we will provide and are already developing and designing everything necessary to do that. And then we are looking to work in collaboration with more and more organizations to build even more open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources to be able to build even more iterations and versions of one community that may look entirely different. Replicable solutions for society, a sustainable society, living and creating for the highest good of all, creating solutions that will benefit everyone, duplicable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. So this is what we're up to. Get involved if it interests you. Thank you as always, again, for everyone, for the small donations that we get, all the emails that we get, the likes we get on Facebook, the shares on Twitter, everything, all the little pieces help us to keep moving forward. They're very encouraging as always. Um, we're grateful for everybody that watches these videos, follows our progress. If you'd like more details, more specific links, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our email list. And of course, you can always subscribe to this YouTube channel. And uh, as I like to say at, everyone, at the end of every one of these blogs, thank you for following our progress. And until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you again.